Inspired by my mother, who after she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's dementia, I had to take away her dog for safety reasons, and she was very unhappy with me. Uh, I looked around for substitutes for live animal companions. She didn't like anything that I brought home, and it was at that time I realized there was a very large gap in the market. Uh, I learned that there are over 300 million seniors with dementia or pre-dementia uh, pre mild cognitive impairment who, like my mother, are also limited in their ability to safely or practically care for a live animal. And so these puppies are designed to treat the behavioral and psychological symptoms of dementia, reduce the need for certain medications, including psychotropics, and we aim for them to be the first FDA medical devices. Uh, over 40 years worth of peer-reviewed data show that where a senior with dementia can form a robust emotional attachment to an object, traditionally that's a human baby doll or a stuffed animal, that senior gets a great deal of relief from their behavioral and psychological symptoms, so loneliness, anxiety, depression. With traditional objects, uh, most seniors don't care for them, maybe 1%. Research on robotic animals show they significantly outperform those traditional objects and have the added benefit of reducing pain and the need for pain medications. So people talk about loneliness and isolation, but they're actually two different things. Loneliness is the feeling of, of not having social contacts. You could be in a 500 bed facility or in a community of many, many people and you could still be lonely if you don't have those social connections. Isolation is the circumstances of really being distant from others. So this is a device that one would think could solve for feelings of loneliness. I love it. When I was lo uh, young, uh, I had uh, a dog. And uh, with uh, modern life, it's difficult in the town to have, uh, to have a dog. Yeah.